Hello, salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to day 89 of 99 Days of Gratitude, a practice for sisters. Today we'll be contemplating El Mugni. My name is Gina Petanito, and I am the founder of the Muslima Virtual Co Writing Community and my business, Writing Your Way. Why? Gratitude. And whoever is ungrateful, then indeed, my Lord is free of need and generous. And Mugni has the same root as El Ghani, our discussion from yesterday. And here we have, my Lord is free of need and generous, Ghaniyun Karim. And this is from Surah Naml, verse 40. Today, we're going to call on El Mugni, often translated as the enricher or the fulfiller of needs. And El Ghani was the wealthy and the self-sufficient. El Mugni is the one who provides this wealth, the enricher, the one who provides these needs. So Alhamdulillah. Um, as always, I'm going to read you a short passage from the most beautiful names of Allah by Sumira Fayyid Kawalda. Allah is the enricher who gives us material possessions and frees us from want. Need should not cause us to disobey Allah, thinking that wealth can be given by other beings. So with faith, human beings are satisfied with few worldly possessions and aspire for no more. We have this verse from Surah Duha, one of these ayat that I know that many of you have memorized, one of these surahs that many of you have memorized. And did he not find you and want and then enrich you? And here we have Agna from the same root. Verse eight. My du'a for today, Ya al-Mugni, allow me always to be free from want. My gratitude item for today, thank you, al-Mugni, for providing me with my wealth. And what I can do to please Allah, remember the du'a of Musa, and then maybe you can even memorize it, alayhi salam, from al Qasis. Verse 28, this is a portion of the verse. My Lord, truly I am in need of whatever good that you bestow on me. And this dua helps us to be satisfied with what we have. My daily affirmation, my soul is rich in satisfaction. Abu Huraira reported the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, wealth is not in having many possessions, rather true wealth is the richness of the soul. And this is in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. Jazakum Allah khair for spending this short period of time with me, for Sister Kate Hepburn of Finding Sakina for influencing and encouraging our gratitude practice. For Sister Samira Fayyid Khawalda for writing the most beautiful names of Allah, you can purchase the paperback version of the book in the link just below this video. A shout out to the wonderful artists and photographers used in this presentation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. See you on day 90.